Hello Pisces, my awesome soul brothers and sisters. Happy Thursday to you. It's almost weekend time. Um, this is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. We're also going to see how your soulmate is doing at this time and whether you are currently in contact with them or not. Let's do this universe. Please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see. I feel I need to shuffle more. You know, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life. And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> You love your soulmate a lot, but you're not communicating with them right now. And for those of you, the few of you that are communicating with your soulmate, you're really not telling them uh, how you truly feel. Um, hmm, it's like you're holding back a lot. You view yourself as available, not in a relationship with that person at this time. You love your, per your person, your soulmate, but... You don't feel you are in a relationship with them. Yeah, you don't feel in a relationship. Yeah, this is you not sure where this is going to go, whether there's going to be a reunion or not. You're questioning a lot of things about this situation. Let's see your subconscious position. You're waiting to see what they're going to do. Let me pick one more. This is you waiting. It's like a waiting game for you. Um, you really love this person deeply yeah you really want to see them face to face that's the only way to communicate effectively to resolve any type of misunderstandings issues disagreements face-to-face -face communication is the only way to communicate effectively none of that online stuff text messaging FaceTiming, no. Real way. The only way to really communicate effectively is face-to-face. -face. Yeah. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life. And how is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, communication. So there's going to be some kind of communication between you two. This is unexpected communication. Whether you reach out to them, they reach out to you, you bump into each other, something is going to happen. They love you, but they're not consistent in your life for you to feel safe in this relationship. For you to feel like the two of you are in some kind of committed union of some sort you see they only showing up as a knight not a king or queen <clears throat> uh oh something is off in this connection because the devil is showing up here this is alarming so something is off something is going on in this person's life that they're not telling you yeah there's some shenanigans going on in their life and it's concerning because this is a negative energy yeah this stands for um, lust. This stands for addictive behaviors. This stands for toxicity. Yeah. So something is not right there. Yeah. This is you. <clears throat> you are very intuitive. You need to listen to your intuition. <clears throat> yeah. It's like you question your judgment, your intuition when you shouldn't. Yeah. This is you being very intuitive, wise, perceptive. Universe, please show us. Some of you are letting go of Virgo, Gemini, um, um, Capricorn popping up here. Universe, please show us. Hmm. And Aries over here. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces 
in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey yeah you feel heartbroken you feel devastated emotionally you feel disappointed deeply by this person's behavior towards you um hmm. but you do love them yeah look how guarded you are with your heart you really want to clear the air with this person you want to know what's really going on what they thinking what's going on in their life before you make your final decision even though you feel not in a relationship with them at this time, you feel like you can't fully uh, move on with your life in a healthy direction unless you get um, to talk to them and really find out what's going on with them in their life, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're planning. You feel like there's some information missing here. My goodness, you guys are so connected from past lives. It's hard for you to let this person go, to stop thinking about them, to stop loving them. You tried and it's it's like you feel very connected. Uh, you're almost obsessing with this connection. It's like you can't uh, concentrate on anything else at this time. It's like you feel consumed by this connection but you are disappointed greatly i'm so sorry you're going through so much pisces yeah you feel unbalanced so one day you feel like you see uh clearly you have a clear picture what to do and next day you doubt yourself this is you feeling very emotionally connected and mm, trying to really uh not be swayed by your emotions to make uh, a final decision in this connection with this person, which is very intense. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey? Oh my goodness. You are very guarded emotionally. Yeah, very guarded. You want to communicate, but uh, you want to hear the truth. You want to know the facts. You were hoping this would end up being a long-term relationship. This, traditionally speaking, talks of marriage, commitment of long-standing, lifetime relationship. You've been very patient with this person. You've been extremely patient with this person's um, behavior, hoping that they're going to finally meet you halfway. Uh oh, this is concerning because the devil showing up for the second time. There's something going on in this person's life. Somebody else is in their life. Um, but it's not what you think. It's not like uh, they are in happy connection with somebody else. This person has some kind of unsettled uh, business with their uh, unsettled um, stuff uh, with their past, with somebody from their past that they were in a serious relationship with. There's something going on. Lots of shenanigans. Oh boy. My goodness. Pisces, I'm so sorry you're going through so much. This is tough. Let me see one more. Let me see two more cards, I feel. I need to pull for Pisces, highest good universe. <clears throat> Ooh. You're going to be meeting new people, Pisces. Yeah, new people, new occurrences, financial blessings, entering your life. Yeah, this is good. This is good. So remember, Pisces, like I always say, and you know, I don't sugarcoat, um... You have free will to decide whether you want to give that person a new beginning if they prove themselves to you, right? Or a new person a beginning or be alone for a while. That's totally up to you. You have free will to decide that for yourself, who you want to be with, right? Yeah, this is you letting go of anything that is not fulfilling you emotionally, anything that's draining you. Yeah, this is you trying to be positive about your future trying not to be sad or emotionally down. Beautiful. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. I'm so happy. 
Yeah, some kind of accomplishment at your job or business that's going to uh, make you feel happy. Yeah, new love offer showing up for you, whether it's from the person you're letting go of at this time or a new soulmate. You see this? Yeah, for most of you, it's going to be a new soulmate. Mm -hmm. uh, Page of Cups, new love offer dawning for you. Beautiful. Financial blessings showing up here for you. Yeah, financial blessings, whether new opportunities or investments being uh, successful, some kind of financial blessing. Yeah. Pisces, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life that showed up as Nine of Cups and Page of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, the Nine of Cups, Page of Cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family members, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.